It's the day of the annual Car City Air Show, and Hector, Penny, and Baby Penny are putting on a spectacular show. Hmm. Hey, Rocky, aren't you enjoying the show? You think you could do better? That's not very kind. Oh, you're going to show them what a real air show looks like? Mm -hmm. But Rocky, there's a roof above you. Ooh, ouch! Well, that didn't go too well. Are you okay, Rocky? Excuse me? What did you say? The stars above shine so bright? Oh dear, it doesn't look like we're going to get any sense out of you. <laughs> Thankfully, Amber the ambulance must have seen what happened. Here she comes with baby Amber. <laughs> Rocky, Rocky, Amber has come to help you. Oh? You love the moon, and the moon loves you? Rocky, Amber's going to test your eyes. Don't move. Hmm, that's odd. Your pupils are shaking. Something's wrong. Think Rocky has a concussion? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Rocky, don't worry. Amber says she can fix you. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baby Amber, stay where you are. Your mom is going to go and fill this bucket with cold water. What are you up to, Cheeky? Your mom will soon be back, you know. Oh, you're trying to make Rocky speak because you think it's funny? The planets are your friends? Thank goodness you're back, Amber. Rocky keeps saying really weird things. Let's hope you're right, and he's soon talking sense again. Um, Amber, what's the water for? Oh yeah, you need to wash his injury before putting the bandage on. That was a good idea, Amber. Rocky's bump looks a lot less sore now. You think the bump will heal completely with three drops of ointment and a bandage? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, here goes. One drop, two drops, three drops. And now for the bandage. Let's see if you can stand up now, Rocky. Fire up the rocket booster on your back. Great. Well done, Rocky. And well done to you too, Amber. Looks like the air show is still taking place. Impressive, huh? Yep, they're sure a talented bunch. Now you're talking sense, Rocky. You want to stay and watch? Amber says you can join them if you like. Oh, how sweet. Baby Amber wants to give you some candy. 
Enjoy the show. See you next time. Hi, Jeremy. Mm. What's the matter with you? You're clearly mm. not feeling well. Mm -hmm. mm. So you have the hiccups and don't know how to get rid of it? Mm. Have you tried holding your breath? Mm -hmm. mm. Drinking water? Mm -hmm. mm. Holding your breath and swallow at the same time? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I only have one more advice. Let's drive to Amber at the hospital. She'll know what to do. Mm -hmm. Hi, Amber. Ah. Hi, baby Amber. Ah. You really love to have this place nice and tidy, don't you? Mm-hmm. Great. Amber, you've got a new patient. Jeremy here has a severe case of hiccups. Amber, have you ever treated hiccups mm. before? I agree, Amber. Mm. Let's give it a shot. Where shall we start? Mm. Mm. Good idea, Amber. Let's make sure he doesn't mm. have a temperature. Mm. Nope, no fever. What's the next step to cure this stubborn hiccups? Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. So you think something in his throat may cause the hiccups? Well, let's check it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Not that either. I wonder what it could be then. Have you come up with something, Amber? Oh. Mm hmm. So you want to try a cough syrup just to be sure? Mm hmm. Well, coughing and hiccuping are somewhat similar. Well, let's try it. Wait a bit, baby Amber. I'm sure the examination is over soon. Mm -hmm. Ooh. There. Did it work? Mm. Aw, poor Jeremy. All this work and no luck. At least you won't get a cough now. Mm -hmm. mm. What's that sound? What is that? Baby Amber, you sure did scare us. Mm -hmm. ah. mm. That's right, Baby Amber. You can't go around scaring Amber's patients. And besides, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what's that, Jeremy? Mm. That's right, you're not hiccuping anymore. So you knew that the best way to cure hiccups is to scare the patient? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you sure did, baby Amber. Oh. Mm. Amber says she's sorry for yelling at you. She didn't know you had the solution to the problem. Yeah. Anyway, you solved the mysterious case. Well done, both of you. Mm -hmm. Are you back again? Mm -hmm. Seems like Jeremy has something for you, baby Amber. Aw, oh, that's so nice of you, Jeremy. Oh. He wants to thank you for curing him, baby Amber. <coughs> Great work, Amber and baby Amber. Bye, everybody. See you soon. <coughs> hey, baby Ben. Relaxing after a hard day at school? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I wouldn't eat that if I were you, Ben. Mm -hmm. Food on the ground might have germs on it. Mm -hmm. That was very silly, Ben. Mm -hmm. You might be ill. Mm -hmm. You do feel ill? We'd better go see Amber the ambulance to see if she can make you feel better. Mm. Ben ate something off the floor, and now he feels oh. sick. Uh. You're right, Amber. You should never eat food you find on the floor. Mm. What can you do to make Ben feel better? Uh. You need to make a diagnosis first. Hey, baby Amber. Your mother was talking to you. It's rude to ignore her. She's playing a new video game? That sounds like fun, but you still have to listen to your mother when she's talking. Baby Amber, can you get a thermometer? <laughs> You're going to check his temperature? <laughs> wow, you do have a temperature. That's right. Eating old dirty pizza probably gave you food poisoning. Now you have a temperature. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that got your attention. Can you get a wet towel to cool Ben down? I think that's a bad idea. You should play on the computer after you finished helping your mother. Feel better, Ben? Amber is going to give you some medicine now, Ben. Baby Amber, can you get some medicine for Ben? Take this medicine after you eat your next meal. It should make you feel better. Is that everything, Amber? Thanks for making Ben feel better. Ben can take a candy from the machine on the way out. Bye-bye, Amber. Bye-bye, baby Amber. You're not sure about eating the candy? It's okay. This food hasn't been on the floor, so it's safe to eat. Hey, Ben. Feeling better? That's great. Don't eat that, Ben. Eating food off the floor made you sick before. You're not going to eat it? That's smart, Ben. Now nobody can eat it. Bye-bye, Ben. See you later, everyone. Hi, baby Katie. Hi, baby Tom. Are you two having fun? You're playing tag? That's a fun game. Count to ten so that baby Katie can have a head start, Tom. Better slow down, baby Katie. If you get too excited, you might have an accident. Oh my goodness! Baby Katie, are you okay? 
You better go to the hospital to have Amber check your wounds. Amber will take care of you. Hi, Amber. Baby Katie had an accident. She's pretty banged up. Can you help make her feel better? Amber can see you now, baby Katie. Let's follow her into the examination room. Baby Katie had an accident, baby Amber. She was speeding at the playground and wasn't watching where she was going. Amber is going to listen to your engine, baby Katie. Sit still for a moment. Everything sounds okay. Let's take a look at those scratches and cuts on your face. Amber is going to clean your cuts, remove the glass from your headlight, and bandage you up, baby Katie. Now it's time for ointment and a couple of band-aids. We need the band-aids, not the roll bandage. No, not those, baby Amber. The box of band-aids. Oh, baby Amber. There you go, baby Katie. Drink this. It's important to drink lots of liquids. There you go, baby Katie. You're all patched up. Thank you, Amber, for taking such special care of our friend. That's right. Now you can go and choose a candy from the giant candy machine in the hallway. Baby Katie is ready to go now, Baby Tom. You two should take it easy this afternoon. Good idea. Go play tic-tac-toe instead of tag. Have fun, guys. Stay safe. See you next time.